So I've been working on the Great Barrier Reef since 1992. So it's absolutely heartbreaking every time there's a bleaching event. But this one, I'm really struggling with this one, to be honest. Um, the diversity of species involved has been quite hard to deal with. So that when we go out and look at those bleached areas, there are so many different species that are bleached, many of which are usually fairly resistant to bleaching. So as little as one degree above the average summer maximum temperature can cause a bleaching event if it lasts long enough. Generally, if we get to six to eight degree heating weeks, we would start to get a fair amount of mortality. This summer, we've had 10 to 12 degree heating weeks across much of the Great Barrier Reef. So this is a pretty alarming event. So this bleaching event, again, brings us to the question of what we're doing to stop the reef from being lost. And I can't help but wonder what it's going to take for the right decisions to be made. We really are running out of time. We need to reduce our emissions immediately. We cannot expect to save the Great Barrier Reef and to be opening new fossil fuel developments, whether they be coal or gas. So it's really, it's time, it's time to act and there are no more excuses.